What is going on, Internet? Eric Van Holtz here, founder of Beard Brand Alliance. Hope all is going well on the other side of the Internet. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I've done this. Let's talk about Beard Brand. Maybe why you should buy from Beard Brand, why Beard Brand's the greatest thing since uh, sliced bread, and uh, maybe a little bit of uh, story or history about this company and where we're from. Okay, if you're a longtime subscriber to Beard Brand or Beard Brand Alliance, you probably know this story, but if you're new around here, then I highly encourage you guys to stick around because what makes Beard Brand unique is probably a lot different than what makes a lot of other companies unique. Now, I used to be a financial advisor. I uh, didn't look like this. I looked completely different. And I hated that. I hated being the person who I couldn't be. So I ended up quitting there trying to trying to start a business on the side. I grew my beard out, started looking completely different. And I would go to these networking events and, and people would always call me Grizzly Adams or ZZ Top or Duck Dynasty. And those are all like totally cool dudes. But it's also not an image that I identify with. So what happened is I ended up going to this event where I started meeting other guys like me. They're stay at home dads, they're lawyers, they're doctors, they're entrepreneurs, they're business people, they're designers. They were just like your ordinary Dude, and I realized that there is this whole growing community of guys out there that didn't fit the traditional stereotype of a bearded guy. Now, this is way back in 2012, 2011. And what I wanted to do was really give that community the support they needed to feel confident about their beard, ultimately feel confident about the self, and help them show the world the person who they are on the inside. So that's when I got the idea for the community of Urban Beardsman. Urban Beardsman is kind of uh, what we call you guys, what I am, Urban Beardsman number one. And Beard Brand was going to be the company or the organization to, to really provide those tools to the community. From the get-go, Beard Brand has always been about the community. We started with uh, YouTube, the YouTube channel. We started with a Tumblr blog. Uh, we started with a uh, WordPress blog as well. And we did that for about a year. If you go back on the Beard Brand channel all the way back to 2012, you can see some terrible videos that I did. Ahoy, Internet! This is your friend, Eric Banholtz. I've come a long way. Uh, whether it's better or not, it's kind of up for you to decide. Now, what makes us different is how we see um, our actions within the company. See, most companies are like, how can we sell more products? But for us, our vision is like, how can we help more people? And by selling more products, that gives us the resources to get our word out. See, we're very mission oriented. Our mission, for those who don't know, is to make men awesome. I know it's a, a pretty simple thing, but if you think long and hard about it, we believe that when men are loving the guy who's looking back at them in the mirror, that they then have the confidence to support their wife, their, their partner, their spouse, to support their family, their children, to support their parents, to support their coworkers, their employees or their bosses, to ultimately support the community around them. And we believe kind of like a grassroots effort through self-improvement, through self-investment, which for all you guys, or for a lot of you guys, it starts through grooming, that we can make the world a better place. And that's what we've been trying to do since we launched in 2012. Man. Eight years ago, it's been a long time, been a long time. Now, when you're setting out on a mission, you need core values. Our core values are freedom, hunger, and trust. And that's how we've been making our decisions since the get-go. We haven't changed our core values at all. We haven't added any more, we haven't taken any way. We've been able to make all the decisions that we can with just those three core values. And I like to think of them as a triangle. So if you have too much hunger, what happens is you start to lose freedom, right? Because you're working all the time, you're giving up time with your family, uh, you're kind of eroding trust because maybe you're stepping on other people's toes. So these core values, they work in harmony with each other, freedom, hunger, and trust. And everyone you run into at Beard Brand, anyone, anytime you, you, you text that number and you reach Sly or you reply to someone on uh, the comments down here, we're all, we're all beard branders driven by those core values. So you can expect a very similar outcome, whether you're talking to me or whether you're talking to Carlos or Greg Brzezinski or Ben Wilson or Sylvester in the comments or, you know, even one of our like operation people like Keith or, 
or Shayna or, or Jordan or Meg or whoever it may be, we're all driven by those core values. I think a lot of companies will say they've got core values. They'll say that they have a mission. They say that, but you have to like apply it to every aspect of your business. And from like the, the hiring process at Beard Brand to um, how we think about the products and how we serve our customers uh, until you know the, the future, it, it's all driven by those core values. One simple thing is uh, off the top of my head, I think about my team and I, I want them to choose to walk through the doors of the Beard Brand office. So I want them to have savings. I want them to have cash in the bank. I want them to not live paycheck to paycheck. I want them to uh, be really, really good at their job so that they can work anywhere. And what I want them to do is to choose to come through these doors and rather than feel obligated to do that. So we try to create an environment where that, that puts the onerous on us, you know, me and my business partners to create an environment that uh, they find rewarding and, and helps them grow and it helps them um, feel joy in life because so much time is spent at work. And the same can be true uh, with you guys. Uh, I want you guys to buy from Beard Brand, but I also know that you've got thousands of, of options out there and there's tons of companies you can go buy from with, with great products as well. You know, I'd love to say our products are, you know, hand and fist, you know, infinitely better than everything else, but you know, our, you can't build a product that serves everyone. So there's gonna be people out there who, you know, connect with different types of products and different type of formulations, and we know that. And because we know you guys are free, every single day we're slaving over how to, to help you have an amazing experience. Something so amazing that you'll wanna tell your friends, you'll want to come back and buy again. And if that is not the experience that you got, then I want you to please let us know. Because uh, if we've lost you for good, just let us know so that we can fix it for the next customer. Um, and that's like the way we think about things. Because I'm not, you know, uh, a little more details about Beard Brand. It's, it's me, Jeremy, and Lindsay. We're the founders of the company. We have uh, no outside investors. We have no debt. We have no VC anything. We're not trying to build this company to, to blow up and then to sell it on to, to Procter & Gamble or you know, L'Oreal or whatever all those other mega corporations are doing out there. We're trying to build a sustainable business that, you know, you know, if I'm lucky, I can pass on to my kids or um, I can pass on to uh, Lindsay's kids or Jeremy's kids or, or whoever may be interested in it. Try to build something that will last. And we try to make decisions that aren't thought about in quarterly timeframes, but they're thought of in you know, like a, a five-year time frame, or ten-year time frame, or even like a twenty-year time frame. That's why we've invested so heavily in just being, you know, uh, really like community first uh, above everything else. So that's a little insight into the way that that we're thinking. So it shouldn't surprise you that the majority of my time spent talking about why you should buy from Beard Brand isn't so much about the products, but it's about the people at Beard Brand and the things that we're trying to do here to make the world a better place. I believe strongly that one of the things, one of my purposes in life is to make sure that the world is a better place than when I entered it. So that may, means like serving uh, my community, my audience, our audience, Beard Brand's audience, and really empowering you guys uh, to live better lives, to, to, to be better versions of yourselves, to not be different people. To, to, to not like change who you are, to not try to fit into a mold, but ultimately to, to love who you are and what that represents, like the warts and all, you know, like the, the, the balding head or, or like the, the goofy ears or like the weird like um, double jointed parts of you or, or maybe I'm just kind of talking about myself. But uh, yeah, so you got to love yourself. And like there's so much that can come from loving yourself that... Like you, you, not only are you like able to help other people, you're, you're taking less resources from others who would need to come in and help you. So that's what we're trying to help you do. That's what we're trying to help you do. Now the products, I mean, like we, we care about our products as much as we care about our community. Um, again, we, I, I talked about how we're trying to build like a generational type of company, one that we can stand by over years on end. 
And to do that, you need to build excellent products that people love and they want to come back to because it gets expensive to uh, try to win over a customer and then they never come back. So we have an amazing reorder uh, rate that we're very proud of and, and a lot of it has to do with you know serving you guys and delivering a great product our product has been you know imitated and uh, it has inspired uh, many other products in the marketplace and uh, we know that that's always going to happen you know we, we believe strongly that um, competition is an important part of the marketplace and make sure that consumers are having a wonderful experience we think that competition makes us better and it makes the experience better for our communities so we embrace competitors and we embrace the fact that you have options and we think about how we can still win you guys over even though you guys have all those options the strategy we had for our products was a really long and hard strategy because what we wanted to do is focus on the fragrances we wanted to essentially um, cancel or end or destroy or kill or whatever you want to call it scent confusion and scent confusion is that that moment where you have you know one one company's body 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 wash and another shampoo and conditioner another cologne and another you know beard oil or whatever and none of those fragrances work in harmony so we've been working hard to make sure that our, our family of fragrances can work well together and also that they're available pretty much from head to toe now it's always a work in progress and we're always launching new products. So we've got a few things in there that I really think are going to complete the whole scent confusion in the coming months. Now fragrance is something that's really important to me. I think it's something we've worked really hard to develop products that smell great. Uh, obviously everyone's going to have a different preference in fragrances, uh, but across our, our nine different fragrances and three different price points, we believe strongly that you're gonna find one that can be a winner that you're willing to put from head to toe. I know, again, there's a lot of beard care companies out there that just focus on one or two products and they have more fragrances available to you, but I don't think there's anyone who's got the the, the range of products that we have in the, the, the depth of fragrances. So if you can find it, let me know because uh, I wanna call up that organization and I really pat them on the back because it's really, 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 really hard to do. So a few of you guys are uh, over in Europe and I'm sure you're pretty upset that you can't buy Beard Brand products. I wanna give you a little hack. Uh, you can get access to Beard Brand products by using a freight forwarder. So a freight forwarder, what they'll do is uh, if you place an order, we'll send it to some place. Uh, we'll send it to the freight forwarder and then the freight forwarder will collect the customs and the duties and sign all of the paperwork and then they'll again ship it over to you in europe so it's really expensive you have to pay the customs duties it's a slower process it's not great i know but if you absolutely need to be able to get access to our products there is a way to do it so i just wanted to let you guys know about that speaking of europe you know like a lot of you guys are probably like why are we not in europe you know i want to buy your products i want to support your company and i want to be in europe but the things that make Beard Brand unique also make it very difficult to uh, manage multiple fulfillment centers to make sure that, you know, nine different fragrances and, you know, 12 different products are available to everyone. So you run into stocking issues and then you have, you know, the supply chain issues and then you have the regulatory burdens of two different uh, regulatory governing bodies. So a lot of products out there, um, may not have like uh, phone cases, right? So I could have a phone case here, I can print up a bunch or make a, produce a bunch here in America and then I can send it over to Europe and sell it to you guys with no like issues at all. There's no regulations. Whereas with our products, we have to go through uh, pretty extensive regulatory processes that when we're constantly changing the formulas to um, really to serve our customers and deliver a product that uh, they've been wanting, they've been asking, uh, it, it gets very costly and ultimately unprofitable. And, you know, we have to build a, a company that is profitable and sustainable, uh, that it can grow and where we can make decisions that are independent and we can make um, decisions that uh, really sustain the business for generations. So I say that with a little guidance of what our plan is for serving our European customers. And it's really to 
continuously nail down our formulations to the point where we believe they're not going to be evolving or changing based on all the feedback that we've been getting from our customers over the years we can feel pretty content with that and then stay with that formulation for a long period of time uh, in the european market and then we'll be able to absorb a lot of those regulatory burdens uh, that we don't have here in america i've also talked about uh, getting back into Europe, there, there's three primary strategies. So our number one market uh, when we were in there before was the UK. So we could just try to go only back into the UK and serve our customers there. You guys speak English over there, so we wouldn't have to, to change all of our packaging and, and get everything translated. Uh, the second goal we could do is we could go into Europe, but maybe with only one fragrance versus our complete fragrance line. And then the third option is to go into all of Europe with all of our products, which is the best case scenario, but requires the most logistical challenges in terms of like repackaging everything, getting all the languages update, getting all the products formulated, approved by regulators, all this jazz. So it's a very long, slow process. Um, and we, we still haven't made the decision of, of those three, how we're going to be getting back into Europe. So you have to stay posted for us on that. So I don't know, if, you've, if you watch this video to the end, then uh, I would probably say you should just buy from us, man. Like, like uh, you clearly you, you find some kind of interest in the content we're producing, the mission that we have, the people we're serving, the community is an amazing community, such amazing guys out there, guys and girls that uh, really do care about themselves and they care about the people around them that, uh, I don't know, man. I couldn't, I couldn't wish for anything better in life. Like Beard Brand for me has been a, a pure blessing to be able to uh, really have one of my passions um, in so many parts of my life from, you know, design, doing the packaging design, from building a, a brand that like revolves around my core values, um, to, to being able to like just spend time and hang out with, you know, other Beard Branders, whether they work for Beard Brand or they represent the Beard Brand. Uh, mission and core values. It's just amazing. Every time I run into someone who watches our videos or it's who buys our products is just like an amazing guy. Like they're laid back, they're chill, they get the big picture, they look dope as F. You know, like, I don't know. I just feel really lucky. So this was a long video, a lot of rambling. Um, probably not a lot of you guys are going to watch this, but those who did, I really want to say thank you. Thank you for uh, watching the videos. I. I don't even care if you buy the products because if you watch the videos, if you invest in yourself, that's really what we're trying to do. So at the worst, watch the videos, become a better version of yourself, maybe help some other people on their pathway as well. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers. Keep on growing. Hey, hey, I'm glad you've been watching these Alliance videos. Woo, good job. Hey, do yourself a favor. Treat yourself to a little treat and come join us. Join us at the Alliance. We would love to have you. See you soon.